Hey, what's going on Capricorns? Butch Turtle here. I am going to do your January read. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all your cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using the Crow Tarot. And for all you out there, happy birthday. For those who just had their birthday or are going to have their birthday in this Capricorn time of year. With all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what do we have for Capricorns for January 2023? All right. So the first thing that I that I have here, Capricorn, is I feel like there is someone new coming in, and I feel like with this person, you know, I I feel like with this person, I feel like very early on, I feel like your opinion of this person is going to be very scattered. You know, I feel like in the very beginning. When you meet this person, because I do feel like this person is reaching out to you. I mean, we have the, the Eight of Wands. And I feel like in the beginning with that page of, uh, the page of Pentacles in reverse, it, it, it's almost like very scattered. I feel like you're going to feel very scattered around this person. Like, I feel like there's going to be a part of you that, yes, is attracted. But there's also a part of you that's kind of not really sure so i feel like it's almost like a scatterbrain type of energy when it comes to this person there's definitely a connection but i feel like it's almost like you're talking you know i i feel like it's almost like you're talking yourself out of it a little bit almost feeling like you've been down this road before i don't feel like you have i feel like this road's very different and i feel like I feel like you're going to, like I said early on, you, you know, there's a scattered energy, but I feel like very quickly you're going to see something with this person that is really going to catch you off guard. You know, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this person, you know, whatever they lack in certain areas, one thing they don't lack is having their shit together. You know, this person is goal-oriented. They're always moving forward. They're very hardworking. And I feel like... Seeing that in them is going to calm that scattered energy down a lot, if not make it completely go away. You know, it, it's almost like that moment you realize that about this person, you know, that you are on the same page. That finally you met someone. Now, the thing is with the scattered energy, I just, I, I just feel like in the beginning when you meet this person and them opening up to you, I feel like it's going to be more of a flirtatious energy, almost like you're thinking, okay, this is another person trying to get my goodies. But, and I feel like that's where the scattering is going on is because there is an attraction that you feel toward them as well. But it's like, you know, it's kind of like the, you know, when you meet someone, you think you have them pegged, but then there's something else about them that you're not really sure what it is, but there's something that's drawing you to them, even though you think you know what they want. But with this person, I feel like in the beginning, you're going to have no idea what this person wants. I mean, you're going to think that, that there's something that they want. But 
knowing exactly what they want is not going to be as clear as you may think it's going to be. Now, with this person, it is, you know, this isn't going to be a quick moving energy. I mean, it, it, there is an establishment of trust. You know, there is that getting to know each other. There is that getting comfortable with each other. But I feel like, like I said, I feel like it's all going to come, it's all going to flow very naturally once you realize that this person isn't who you first thought they were. You know, maybe making a judgment a little bit too quick on this person. You know, I, I feel like, like I said, I, I do see something coming out of this that's much more than you might have thought in the beginning. Uh, we have new love and we have the Hereford, strong union, and the new love heading into something much stronger. You know, it is new, but that doesn't stop it from, from having substance. You know, I see a foundation being built here. This is someone that's looking to build a foundation. They're looking to build a legacy. And the reason, you know, I, I feel like there is that flirtatious energy when it comes to this person. You know, they I, I feel like they came toward you with a little bit of that flirtatious energy. and I, But I, like I said, I feel like don't judge this too quickly. You know, because if you do, you'll make the wrong judgment. This person works hard and they play hard. You know, they go after what they want. This is someone that puts effort in when most people give up. And I feel like that's what you're really going to be drawn to with this person. You know, the flirtatious part is not that you don't have a, you know, you're not going to have this incredible chemistry when it comes to that physical side, is what I'm saying is in the beginning, it's going to feel like that's what they're looking for. And I feel like there's a part of you that's going to be wanting to stand your ground, but that's okay. You know, that's what we should always do. Look, listen, you know what I mean? That type of energy is like, you, you see this crow up here and he, the rest of them are jumping and he's just waiting. He's standing his ground, waiting until the time is right. And, and it's okay. You know, so many people think that when you meet the right person, it's just going to flow naturally. And, you know, fairy tales are nice, but they seldom happen. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it, it can't happen, but it, it's it, it's few and far between. You know, don't get your love advice from a movie. But like I said, it's... With this person, in the beginning, it's a lot of flirtatious energy, a lot of physical energy. This person is coming at you with that type of energy. And I feel like it's going to be, it, it, it's it's almost misinforming. Like, you know, this person is giving you misinformation. They're making you feel like that's what they're looking for. But it's absolutely, absolutely the opposite. But I feel like they are drawn to you. And I feel like that can account for a lot of that flirtatious energy. It's almost like they didn't expect you either, but... That isn't going to stop them from moving forward with it. You know, and this person, like I said, it, it isn't just about something physical with this person. This person actually wants to be with you. And this is the type of person that will show up for you. They will put in the work. I mean, we have the Ten of, ten of Wands as well. You know, with that Eight of Pentacles, it's it's someone that, you know, when shit hits the fan, they're, they're there to help you clean it up. You know, when... When, when you're stuck on a situation, this person's there trying to help you as best they can. And like I said, when most people run for cover, this person is coming out. You know, this is the type of person that if you tell them they can't do something, that makes them want to do it even more. You know, uh, I, really, I, I really enjoy this person's energy because I feel like, you know, I feel like that they have high expectations on themselves, and I feel like that's what drives them. But I feel like that's something that that you're gonna admire about this person. And like I said, they're they're looking to build a foundation. They're looking to build a, a legacy. They're not looking for a one night stand. And with this person, I feel like it, you know, give love a chance. <laughs> you know, we have the three of wands. That ship finally coming in. I feel like this is what you've been waiting for. Finally, getting someone that you know holds up their end 
You know, someone that puts in the work shows up for you, not just you showing up for them all the time. You know, very determined. But also very... I feel like I... I mean, we got that power call there. I feel like we got off on the wrong foot, though. And what I mean by that is I feel like that flirtatious energy in the beginning, I feel like that's just an awkwardness that that came out of them. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like... They're, I, I feel like they're generally a really classy person. But I feel like with you, it's almost like you brought that passion out of them. And it's funny how when we meet the right person in our life, sometimes they can bring something out of us that we didn't even know we had. You know, bringing out that balance with this person. Like I said, a lot of emotional fulfillment, a lot of forward movement, always moving forward. You know, we have that nine of cups. And then we have that chariot always moving forward. Like I said, with the Hierophant as well. I mean, this person is looking for a union that'll last. They're looking for something that's going to last. But like I said, when they first met you, I feel like them coming at you. I feel like this person's very head to mouth. And what I mean by that is I'm like that. A lot of people are like that. But what it is, is is there's nothing in between what you think and when it comes out of your mouth. <laughs> you know, but like I said, don't don't judge this person on the first first meeting. You know, you know, just I don't want you to miss something special here, and I feel like it is something special. And I don't want you to think that, that this who this person is. I, I just feel like you bring out a different side of this person than they didn't even know existed. You know, you're freeing them from the cage, that devil. You're freeing them from the burdens that they hold on to. A lot of people, I mean, the, the feeling I'm getting from this person, it's almost like this person's always been about getting shit done, always about moving forward, all about, you know, putting in, like I said, it's very hardworking. And I don't feel like they ever really took time to enjoy and then they seen you they enjoyed it and it brought out a different side of them that flirtatious side that you know they were thinking it so they said it you know i do get a very nurturing energy from this person like i said very nurturing i see a lot of good fortune i see a lot of happiness for, for the both of you moving forward um, like I said, I'm not saying that you should just ignore your intuition. What I'm saying is that when you meet this person, don't, don't put all your eggs in one basket when it comes to your opinion. Because there's so much more to this person than, than you're first going to see. You know, if you ever watch me talking about movies, um, if you ever watch movies and you, you, you know, the... The person sees the other person for the first time and they can't even talk right. They can't even get the words out. That's what the energy I'm feeling with this person. You know, hey, what's your name? And you're like, uh, you can't remember your name. You know what I mean? Like the, the funny movies that always had that stuff. Um, but with this person, we have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We have Aries, Sagittarius. You know, we have Cancer, we have Pisces, and we have Scorpio. But yeah, like I said, I mean, it's... Sometimes we're looking for something. You know, and I feel like that's what part of the initial feeling you're going to have about this person is when you meet them. It's almost like, okay, you're only after one thing. It's the way they come at you. But... Just know that that's not really how they are. That's just what came out. And I'm not saying this is for everybody. I'm not saying, you know, I mean, take it all in in the way it comes to you. It doesn't mean the like, next person who tries to get in your pants, you should give them a chance. It means, you know, trust yourself. Because like I said, even though there's that there's something off about them when you first meet them. There's also something that's pulling you in. You know, the ebb and the flow. 
There's something about this person that isn't quite clear. If you feel that, that's who I'm talking about. You know, if you feel there's an era of mystery with this person, that may be what we're talking about here. You know, so don't 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 take first impressions always as you know. So many people say first impressions are are everything. They're really not. They can be important, but I mean, sometimes people are just humans. Sometimes we mess up. Sometimes we, you know, try too hard. It doesn't mean we're any less. Or it doesn't mean we're going to treat you any worse. Or, you know, it doesn't even mean that we're not made for you. It just means there's a side of us that doesn't know what to do with that. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.